Hello, MyTel users. Today we're going to talk about some basic administrator functions that are available using your MyTel telephone dial pad. This video tutorial assumes that your company is using the MyTel 5000 system platform. We'll talk about functions such as extension swapping, name changes, and system alarms. These functions are available using an administrator phone's dial pad and keys. Now what MyTel refers to when using the term extension swapping is moving one phone to a new location, such as two employees switching cubicle locations and still retaining their same extension numbers. If your phone system is an IP platform, meaning that your phones are plugged into your data network jacks, it's just a simple matter of each respective employee unplugging their phone from the data jack taking their phone with them to the new location and plugging back into a live data jack. As long as the data jack is patched through, then the phone should come up just fine. But if your phone system is a digital system, meaning that your extensions are plugged into regular phone jacks, then you, the administrator, must first follow some simple administrator steps before your employees can unplug, move, or swap desk locations. One thing to be aware of is that not all phones within your office may perform these administrator procedures. Usually your TransWest technician will program or allow only one or two phones within your office to be administrator phones. Most often the reception phone has been defined or programmed as an administrator phone. A second thing to be aware of is that you can only swap like model phones meaning that you cannot swap a 8520 model phone with an 8560 model phone. So let's see a PowerPoint on how this is done. An extension swap might be done if you have two employees that are switching cubicles. Maybe Benito at extension 101 wants to switch desk with Betty, yet keep his original assigned extension number of 101. They both have the same model of phone, so you as the administrator must perform an extension swap. So to enter programming, if your phone has a sideways or lazy 8 key, the infinity symbol, you'll press this key. If your phone has a key with an X with a circle around it, you'll press this key. Some of the older model phones had a key labeled as special but you'll start the process by pressing one of these keys. You'll dial 9932. You'll press the, the digits 242 on your dial pad. You'll dial Benito's extension number of 101. Press the pound key to accept. Then dial Betty's extension number. Press the pound key. Now, lift and replace handset to exit programming. You've done your part, and now Benito and Betty may unplug and move their phones. That's all there is to it. So, next let's take a little look at extension name changes. Station or extension name changes are an integral part of your phone system administrator duties. This change station name process should be done each time you have a staff member change. By doing so, when the new employee intercoms another staff member, the new correct name appears in the display for the receiving party. So here's those steps to change a name in the phone system. First, you'll need to enter programming mode. If your phone has a sideways or lazy 8 key, the infinity symbol, you'll press this key. If your phone has a key with an X with a circle around it, you'll press this key. And again, some of the older phones had a key labeled as special. But you'll start the process by pressing one of these keys. You'll dial 9932, press the digit 1 on your dial pad, and dial the extension number you wish to change the name on. Press the pound key to accept. Press the 2 key. Press the 2 key again. Now you press the mute key to begin erasing the name now showing within your LCD screen. On some phones you'll find the mute key in your vertical row of programmable keys. On some phones you will have a hard program key with a symbol or an icon that looks like an old style desk microphone with a slash through it. This is also a mute key. 
Once the old name is erased, using your dial pad, text in the new name you wish the extension to display. Again, using that mute key to back the cursor up. If your phone has a forward key, usually found within your vertical row of keys, you may use the forward key to advance the cursor. Press the pound key to save the new name and to exit programming, lift and replace your handset. Congratulations, that's all there is to a station name change. Next, we're going to talk about system alarms and how to clear an alarm. Only extensions defined as an administrator extension will see any alarms within the LCD screen. These alarms will be within the 100 to the 200 series ranges. Phone system alarms will fall within the 100 series ranges and might show up if you lose one of your phone numbers from your dial pad or your dial tone provider. Network alarms will fall within the 200 series ranges and you may see a 200 series alarm if maybe your voicemail memory is running low. But most likely you will never see a system alarm. But if your TransWest technician has defined your phone as an administrator phone and enabled emergency notification on your phone, anytime another, another coworker pick, picks up their handset and dials 911, your phone as the system admin phone will go into alarm and within your LCD screen, the extension that dialed 911 will be visible. This is a great tool to monitor any outgoing 911 calls. So with that said, here are your steps to clear a system alarm. You'll note the alarm number and any additional information within your LCD screen. You'll press the Lazy 8 or Infinity key, or if your model uses the X with a circle around it, you'll press this key. And again, some of the older phones will have a key labeled as special. You'll dial 9850 to clear a system alarm and or dial 9851 to clear a network alarm and then your, your LCD screen will revert to its normal view. So that concludes our basic administration functions. Thank you for watching and enjoy using your My Telephone system. Thank you.